draconian cuts to social programs, Ooh. like health care, like housing, like food. At the same time, they are poised to give and continue tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires that will blow up the deficit by in more than... So, so, um, so just tell me uh, what you're doing here today and, and briefly. Uh, 
uh, look at me and uh, tell me what your message to Mr. McCarthy is. Sure. Well, I'm here today because um, Speaker McCarthy is visiting the New York Stock Exchange and is giving a speech, I'm not sure exactly what time, perhaps as we're standing here, um, promoting the extension of tax cuts. Sorry, thank you. Thank you. Sure. Um, I'm here today because as we're standing here, Kevin McCarthy is speaking before the New York Stock Exchange to promote his plan of extending tax cuts for the very wealthy and proposing cuts to food stamps, to SNAP, um, to housing programs, to all sorts of social services that support the less wealthy in our country. And I think it's very clear that the disparity between the haves and the have-nots has, have has increased recently. And this plan just seems to, you know, his, his notion that, oh, people who don't have access to good food and you know, clean water and housing and health care is just because there's a lack of work ethic. Where I know so many working poor who work longer hours than anybody I know in a white-collar profession who just can't make ends meet. And so we're to try to raise awareness of what these cuts would actually do to the average American. Yeah, give me that again. It's sure. Kind of say we're here today. Okay, so we're we're here today to sort of stand with Americans who are not being served by um, what Kevin McCarthy, Speaker McCarthy, is proposing, and to say that we stand for the average American and we do not support the cuts. We do not support the tax cuts to um, the cuts to social services or the tax cuts to the wealthy. What you're doing here and what your message yeah, I think I'm here because I'm a mom of eight. I have grandchildren. Um, my mother's in her 70s, and Medicaid and housing and food insecurities uh, are, are under attack, right? And so I'm here because it's important for us to tell the speaker, he's really not speaking for us if he's not ensuring that he's funding all those things. We need a speaker who's going to do right for the people. And right now, the plan we see is no plan at all.